All right, it's Friday and it's time for Tip of the Week. Alrighty, so this tutorial is for Jeff. You want to learn a little more about the Firehawk effects, um, especially on the loop or function. So what I've done is I pulled up a preset that I created a little while ago. And unfortunately, my guitar pedal is still shipping overseas, so we're going to go ahead and pretend like my Firehawks is uh, connected to the remote. So uh, as you can see, I have uh, four effects laid up. You're going to see the stomp box on the top, the module on the top again, the delay in the bottom, the reverb, and a looper. And so what you have to understand is that you have five pedals. The first pedal is going to be your compression. And then you're going to have three other pedals that you're going to have to use. And so it's going to be uh, either the mod, the stop, the delay, or the reverb. The fifth one we're going to assign as a looper. So you really get a freebie um, in this effects chain. So I have decided to choose the mod phaser and leave that on and not assign it to a function uh, foot switch. So what I've done when this was connected was my stop box was foot switch was number two, my compression was number one, delay was number three, my reverb was number five, and my looper is assigned to number four. And so I went ahead and used uh, that foot switch to control the playback and the overdub um, over and over and over again when I'm recording. Now you can change this pattern any way you want. Uh, you can move them around as any other pedals. So uh, that is how you would assign the looper and still maintain four uh, effects patches. Okay, so the other function you want to learn about was tone matching. And uh, that's pretty simple. So I'm using my iPhone because that's where primarily all my music is at. Uh, on the bottom of the remote, if you hit music, all right, it's going to pull up all your music listing in iTunes. Um, so I'm just going to pick a band, Alice in Chains. All right, it's going to pull up their album. I'm going to click it again. And uh, what it's going to do is you just go ahead and pick any song that you want to uh, sample, more or less. So we'll click uh, Get Born Again. It's going to go ahead and play it. And as you see, uh, it's pulling up tones that are already uploaded to the cloud. And you go ahead and sample those, um, like any other tone, by clicking on the arrows. And it's going to pull over. If you want to go backwards, you hit Click Music. Try the next tone. If you don't like that one, go back to Music. And uh, you can modify these at any point in time. Also, uh, if you're playing this through Bluetooth, uh, what you can also do is hit the half speed, and it's going to slow down the entire music um, at half the, half the speed without changing the pitch, so you can practice uh, playing the song or certain solo parts uh, if you'd like. And that is how you use the uh, tone matching capability. <laughs>